as a kind of community-based initiative. Okay, we'll say hello to the people first of all because uh, there we are. This is Brendan Ferran from St. Joseph's High School in Yorey. Uh, and uh, you're very, very welcome. Thank you, Rowan. You're a Camla man. I am. We're originally from Camla, and we're kind of outreaching as far as we can with the foreign connections to yeah. where we are. So I got me. I went to Camlock fifty odd years ago yeah. to find myself a beautiful woman, <gasps> and we fell in love, and we were together for forty six years in marriage, and now we're together and for five years in a kind of friendship. Oh, well, that's very I correct. might propose to her again. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't Cam broke, don't fix Cam it. Camla women are worth it, I oh, think. Oh, they are sure. Right, they right, right, right. Now, you now. teach religion and citizenship I at do the indeed, school. Rowan, yes. Right. Uh, is there any religion about nowadays at all? or what? How are people, how are youngsters uh, uh, dovetailing mm -hmm. into it? Are they interested? Are, they, are you teaching them things by rote? Uh, or is there a wee bit of intelligence and thinking coming yeah. into it? Well, it'll be more so the experiential element of things, Rowan, that they, of course we, we cover the wide spectrum of religious experience, but it's, it's very personalised, individualised, particularly from the pupils' perspectives themselves. And How does that shake down in terms of what the pupil gets and what the pupil gives? Well, there's obviously the curriculum that we follow up at St Joseph's as with all the schools, but particularly with St Joseph's, it's a very kind of pupil-based school and we're, we're focusing on the needs and the interests and the capabilities mm. of the individual. So the old cliches of a, a pupil-centred education, that there's yeah. the forefront of our, our integrity mm. at St Joseph's and to make it as personal and as mm. meaningful as possible. And from that, their unique experience and their background and their understanding, mm. their capabilities, everything, as you suggested, dovetails mm. through yeah. their own awareness. A young person asked me recently, he was doing a project out of SRC, mm -hmm. and he had, a, he had a questionnaire for me. Yeah. And he said, the questionnaire said, he was doing a photograph with it, and he, I'm regarded as being old and right. wise now. <laughs> old, yes, <laughs> but we leave the other for a while. But he said, well, if you had to give advice to a young people nowadays, what would you tell the young person? What would you advise? Yes. And my advice was, challenge, yeah. seek the meaning of life. Mm -hmm. Does that sit easily with your philosophy and Joe's? Oh, certainly, because what we, we constantly encourage the pupils to do is always ask, mm -hmm. question, why? don't just automatically assume or take for granted because mm -hmm. somebody else says it. Find a deeper meaning, understand it, but at the same time take ownership of it because yeah. if somebody just expects you to root to learn, that defeats the purpose of a, of a a pointful education itself. Oh, okay. So what we're, we're trying to encourage individuals is to think for themselves, think outside the box, but ultimately think and if yeah. they just simply just go through the motions and, and aim for examination results and so on, well, we're defeating them. Mm -hmm. What we're focused on is giving them the ability and the, the cognitive awareness to actually become independent learners. I think that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's be One of my grandchildren goes to you, Jack McCartan, yes, and Jack. he's enthusiastic yes. all the way and loves it. And oh, he is. He's constantly pressing ahead and yeah. he's a great fellow. I'm very proud of him. That's fantastic. And uh, how, I should have asked you at the beginning, how is you, you Malin? Mr. Malin's doing a uh, phenomenal job, um, again. He is, he's an leading, fellow. Yes, leading and, and kind of a, a new initiative and encouraging uh, staff themselves to take a proactive role in yeah. the school itself, to open it up, to make sure it's not a stagnant institution, that there's new ideas, uh, new developments, new projects happening all the time. And because of that there, there's new vitality in the school yes. and there's a, there's a depth of a learning, there's a, a strong positive ethos, and yeah. there's a sense that everybody's playing an active role yeah. in it, that everybody feels appreciated yeah. in this. I want to tell you about a time I didn't feel appreciated, well. and I want to tell you a story that I would like you to tell some morning at, a, at, at, at assembly to your children. He'll pass it on. And I tell you, this is an important story. When I was doing my 11 plus, which I, I had a PhD in yeah. failing, I failed it. <laughs> With with uh, flying colours, yeah. I, I, I just had no chance. But before it happened, I was brought to the front of the class right. by my teacher. Yeah. And another man called Peter Ramsey mm -hmm. from Newry was brought to the front of the class. Yeah. And the class, the announcement by the teacher was, class, I'm going to ask these two gentlemen to shake hands. And we shook hands. Mm -hmm. Class, would you give a round of applause to Rowan Hand and Peter Ramsey, because you have just witnessed Wood meeting Wood. That's true. Now, yeah. this guy, Rowan Hand, went on to be the head of Radio Current Affairs in BBC Northern Ireland, the deputy head of News and Current Affairs at BBC Northern Ireland, uh, the managing director of Rowan Hand Productions, a radio officer in the Merchant Navy mm -hmm. traveling the world, 
the builder of schools in Africa, and Peter Ramsey went on to be one of the top men in one of the great oil companies yeah. of the world. So when your children are quaking with fear of not doing well, mm -hmm. You please tell them that story. Well, that's, that's a fantastic uh, story to, to, to represent. Simply not pigeonholing people and yeah. uh, expectations. Yeah. Because Let the, the reality is. That's true, and that's, that's, and that's, true. And that's, that's a fantastic You're reaching out to the community at the moment in a new project. What's that all about? Well, we're doing it for this last year, Rowan. We've set up um, through the community associations around Uri. All the named community associations have uh, instigated a community-based sports redevelopment program um, focus on the needs or more to the point the lack of need um, in certain areas for facilities because um, the community associations and um, the, the sports associations around yep. Newry have identified certain areas where there's currently a lack of provision, particularly lack for the youth. Lack of provision, yes. Yeah. Particularly for but the plenty youth, of the need. elderly, definitely. Plenty of need, but um, no provision. Right. And a 3G football pitch, exterior, interior, climbing walls, um, fitness suite, um, external gym facilities, family cycle provision, and th th these are the key elements of the core crux of, of the, the focus of what the shared areas are trying to establish. Okay. And it'll be based in St. Joseph's. It's going to be in St. Joseph's. Yes, because what the, uh, the, the three phases of questionnaires have established that whilst there is facilities in the area, well, that Coleman's up the road from you comes yeah. to mind. St. Joseph's is predominantly is, uh, under, um, underutilised yep. um, and what it is, it's urban redevelopment. Mm. And Where will you build this? On, on the land where St. Joseph's currently is, there is space and there is place. And what yep. we're trying to do is utilise it to the maximum potential. Okay. And at the minute, um, the, the community association, the sports group, have highlighted the list of priorities of things mm. that they're hoping to achieve. And we're very ambitious, but we're also very realistic about these here. Because what's simply happened is that there is a great demand for these facilities. Mm. And with the Shared Areas uh, Project Committee spearheading this year, we're making substantial gains and growth in community collaborative mm. approach to this year. Okay. And also focusing on trying to get uh, financial support to get these facilities here. How far how far away are we from opening day, so to speak? Well, the last year was trying to um, ensure that the, the uh, collective um, ownership has been established and that mm. there has proved significant in, in the constant development of the project. There. Okay, so, so collective ownership of what? Of, of the, the shared areas facilities. What, what's happening is the, the facilities themselves, although they're going to be based at St. Joseph's, St. Joseph's is permitting the, the, the area to be used yeah. for community and it's community ownership. Yeah. And how that's going to work, Ron, is that these facilities are going to be governed by community representatives yeah. and run by the community associations and the sports groups. And what, what's simply happening is that to try to reward and encourage youngsters in particular to have an active role in, in society and the community. There's okay. going to be a rewards program for people who are involved in the likes of litter picking, yeah, helping yeah. with the elderly, community-based mm. initiatives, yeah. that they're going to be provided free of charge yeah. to encourage and to reward good okay. practices. I was, it kind of leads me, what's in it? Okay, the, the children will learn by a process of osmosis, Certainly, if you like, yeah. and proximity mm -hmm. to, to the, the community. Mm -hmm. But what, fundamentally, what's in this for St. Joe's? Well, to be honest, St. Joseph's has taken a very um, proactive role in promoting it, but it's basically a community-based initiative. St. Joseph's supporting it and developing it, but the, the core fundamental benefits will be community-based. Yeah. St. Joseph's is obviously going to um, develop uh, health and fitness uh, facilities for, for pupil development and also uh, sports leadership courses. So there's an yeah. academic as well as a physical benefit okay. of that there. But also particularly Banjo Bannon, who's champion in the cause, um, is very keen to ensure that the likes of the climbing walls oh, help yes. develop individual uh, leadership qualities, mm kind of uh, cognitive thinking skills and so on like that there. So it's, it's to try to encourage health and fitness promotion, but also at the same time develop uh, individual qualities okay. and traits as well. As so that the, the, the groundwork has been done, you've Sorry. identified the need, and you've identified the means of meeting that need mm -hmm. within your campus area. Certainly. What's the time scale? We are hopefully, and we're, we're very confident within the next academic school year, that uh, this time next year, not only will be sufficient funding uh, established, but 
the, the phased process of, of getting these uh, facilities constructed. So this time next year, we are very keen to make sure that the, um, the phased process in, involving strategic planning is going to be implemented. So, for example, the local soccer clubs are very adamant that the, the, the primary focal point will be the 3G football pitch. Yes. So it'll be high on the, 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 mm. the, our concerns to get that established as soon because as Because still with soccer, for goodness sake, we have Karen Bain mm -hmm. and nothing else, and that's been the same as we've had yeah. for years upon years upon years. And Andrew said you have some images that you want us to see, is yeah, that right? Yeah, if Andrew's able to If you can whack those to us, Andrew, then we can talk about the images. Now, what's this we're seeing? This first one, Rowan, this is a, a flyer that's been distributed through the local community groups and the community associations, and it's to try to just give a bit more awareness about the, the project's intentions as well as okay. the, the vision that we're having, uh, highlighting the climbing walls, the family cycle provisions, yes, the yes, 3G football pitch. Ball, yeah. And within that, there are tax there itself. It's very clear to kind of encourage as much community participation as possible. Okay. Andrew, have we another there, please? Now, this is taking the same information process a wee stage further. Yeah, and this is the reverse of the flyers, kind of highlighting the external gym equipment and the internal, yes. particularly the likes of the external one. What we're, we're keen to do, Rowan, is ensure that the facilities are provided with mm. either free costing so that the public don't actually have to pay for wow. this here, or at a reduced price just to cover the likes of maintenance costs. So this yes. is something that's uh, relatively substantial in the area to maximise okay. the community participation. Right, what there. else, Andrew, have we got? Ah, that's nice. That's a community association. Yeah, this, this supports is, shared areas. Yeah, it's Lennon Hall. This is one of How the, the nine who have yeah. uh, backed the, the initiative from the very start. And it's to try to represent the, the, the collaborative approach to this here, that it is widespread, it is community-based, and it is for the benefit of the, the wider community itself. And it's not insular in a certain zone of the town. No, no. It is no, community-wide for as many people as possible. Okay, Andrew. Ah, that's the bike scheme. It is indeed, and this is highlighting the likes of Samiris as one of the, the many local schools who are helping to champion the cause as well. They've been very keen to promote it um, through the pupil awareness. It's almost a sister school, isn't well, it? Well, we've, we've had a very strong partnership over the many years, particularly through um, cross um, inter-school initiatives and extended schools programme that I'm helping um, to, to organise. Yeah. And it's just to maximise the impact that the collaborative approach can, can, can benefit. Well, I can tell you for a start, mm -hmm. the, the, the collaborative approach with St Mary's, now I know you do your own things, mm -hmm. but St Mary's is the partner school under the, uh, under the British Council mm -hmm. scheme, uh, international curriculum scheme, to my schools in Africa. Brilliant. And they're twin schools. Yes. And the headmistress of our African schools, mm -hmm. the African woman, has been for the first time ever out of Africa to Nyore. Yeah. And Morris from St Mary's, no he's been out to Africa. Fantastic. And he and I travelled in the bush of northern Nigeria. And we had, we had a very, very uh, educative time there indeed. So, yes, that's sort of, you've, you're in association with a great school. Two great schools together. Two, two of many, Rowan, to be honest. Yep. There's a widespread um, support um, from, from the, the local schools. Um, Our Lady Sacred Heart, St Paul's yep. in particular, have been championing this here. Just to, to represent the fact that it is not based in a particular area, we're trying to okay. maximise the potential that we, we, we can have. And is there anything people out there viewing at the moment can do to underpin your efforts and maybe help them? There's, there's several things, Ron. We're currently through the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash shared areas. Shared areas on Facebook. Yeah, there is a list of um, businesses, educational establishments, um, sports groups that have already um, signed up to promote the cause, and that's grown extensively yeah. all the time. So if people want more information, particularly with the flyers and other posters, that's available there. And again, with the financial element of it, if any local businesses are keen to support the uh, the, the project itself, okay. my details are through the Facebook page as well, or even St Joseph's. St um, Joseph's. What's the, what's your e what's your email at St Joseph's? My one is B Fern. But, but, B, yeah. Or should we give them the? Should we just give them the website? Well, St Joseph's is simply St Joseph's dot com. St Joseph's. New, any apostrophes? No, in it's there. all one word. So it is uh, all one word. Through. St Joseph's Newry dot com. That's where you'll find out all about the shared area scheme. stjosephsnury.com, that's it. Fantastic. Now, you've, I, I'm under strict instructions to make sure you're out of here <laughs> at a certain time. So we're going to do that for Roll you. Go on your appreciate you. your time. Take, Take care. care. And God give bless. them all my fond regards and total support. I certainly will. And anything, this studio is your studio. That's fantastic. Come in any time at Much all. Much appreciated. Now, stay with me for a moment because I'm going to introduce my next interview, and it's with Kate O'Hanlon uh, of the Newry... Uh, Art 
collective and they have